Low antibody titer cold stored O positive whole blood is an FDA licensed and American Association of Blood Bankers approved blood product for administration in emergency release situations when other blood products are unavailable and or the patient's blood type is unknown. It's the unit of blood drawn from the donor, which has been tested like any other blood product, and a preservative is added, just like any other blood product. So it contains red cells, plasma, platelets, and white cells from the donor, just like it was circulating in their vein before they donated it. Today, we're going to talk about the, our whole blood program, uh, and there are questions that people have been asking uh, about the program we've initiated for pre-hospital transfusion uh, with whole blood. Why do we need whole blood? Well, we studied our trauma patients, uh, and it, what we found was that waiting until the patient got to the hospital to give them emergency transfusion resulted in a very high death rate, about 70% or so. Uh, so cold stored whole blood can safely provide oxygen carrying capacity and restore coagulation at the same time. Are there any concerns about whole blood? No, there's no real concerns with this. Uh, until the 1970s, this was the only blood product that we had to transfuse. Uh, and actually what we have found is that there are fewer reactions and complications when the recipient is transfused with uh, fewer uh, donor sources, source blood products. And how much volume is in one unit of whole blood? Well, it contains about 500 uh, cc's or so of, of whole blood. Uh, and that's equivalent to a unit of red cells, a unit of plasma, plus uh, one-sixth of an apheresis pack of platelets. So how is it different than packed red blood cells? Well, because it also contains those uh, platelets and that plasma. Um, why use this and not one-to-one, one, one with components? Well, simply put, logistics. Uh, the shelf life of platelets, the number one coagulation factor needed by a bleeding trauma patient, is only three days. Uh, also, if you think about it, patients bleed whole blood, not just the components, uh, and so replacing it with whole blood makes the most sense. Is the blood irradiated? Uh, no, it's not irradiated, and it's also not leukoproduced. So can it be warmed? Well, yes, and it should be. Uh, it can be used through all FDA-approved warming and infusion devices. Uh, because we certainly don't want our patient getting uh, hypothermic. Do the platelets work? Yes, the platelet function in cold stored whole blood on the 35th day is equivalent to the platelet function in a five day old uh, bag of platelets that we are using today. Is this universal donor blood? Well, I'll tell you in the traditional sense it is not because it's RH positive, not RH negative. Can this be given to a child brain? Yes, and uh, we've just published an article highlighting the risk-benefit ratio favors the patient uh, in terms of safety and uh, uh, instead of leading to death, the risk of developing antibodies uh, far, is far safer to give them the, the whole blood uh, than not. And what about the use of children? Children under the age of three probably should not get emergency release whole blood, so our program is set up to give uh, whole blood to children down to the age of five. What kind of reactions can occur? Uh, the reactions that can occur are just the same kind as with the transfusion of any other type of blood product. Does this interfere with the administration of other additional blood products or medications? Uh, no, it does not. The administration is the same as with any other kind of blood product. Will transfusion of O positive whole blood impact the patient's blood? In small quantities it won't, but just as with any uncross-matched emergency released blood product, this issue can arise if the patient gets replacement of their full blood volume. It is typically not a life-threatening condition. Can a patient receive component therapy after receiving O-positive whole blood? Uh, yes, there's no reason they should not, and that is our current practice here. So let's demonstrate the difference between a unit of whole blood and the components uh, that we would typically get uh, from the uh, blood bank when we issue plasma and red blood cells to a patient. Why don't you get out a unit of whole blood there? So if this is what we're trying to give the patient is red cells, plasma, and platelets, this is what it looks like when it's divided up into its components. This is what it looks like when it comes as a unit of whole blood. And you can see it's got a nice tag here indicating that it's different 
than this bag of red cells. It's clearly different in its color, its size, uh, and uh, uh, its potency in terms of uh, correcting coagulation while supplying additional oxygen carrying capacity.